But he's got a Correct. tough match tonight okay. against Mark Allen, the world number eight. All the best, guys. Have a good match. He's the world champion breaking off Ronnie O'Sullivan, six times champion of the world, three times a if champion of champions. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. And if he carries on, Ken, where he left off this afternoon, he'll be a tough man to beat because he played particularly well. He did. He looked very sharp, didn't he? And lost the first frame, but after that, never looked back. Mark Allen, on the other hand, started off very slow, but finished that wonderful 125 break. He has to take it up a notch or two, Mark Allen, if he's to have a chance tonight, but I'm sure he will. I think it's going to be a fascinating contest, this, Neil. We've had some great matches already, and that one last night was a classic. But I think we're going to have be a different style of match tonight for sure, but I think it's going to be great stuff as well. It's finished a bit awkward there in first, but this is a tricky one. You see the referee onto it, and it was too tough for O'Sullivan that shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan, what? Marcel Eckhart was just making sure that Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, didn't touch anything with his cue and cause a foul. He's onto it. The shot was beyond him. I think Mark Allen against this man will have to start particularly well. He's got to. Can't let O'Sullivan dominate. Can't start like he did this afternoon against Scott Donaldson. He was a little bit, a little bit lacklustre, but he did finish, as Ken said, really well. Going to carry that form straight One. into this match. Yeah, I think you're right, Neil. I think the start is very important for Mark Allen. And he's definitely one of those players. He certainly won't be afraid of Ronnie. Beat them a couple of times. Okay, the head-to-head -head favors Ronnie six to three, but. Mark Allen is one of those players that loves playing the big player and Ronnie O'Sullivan doesn't get much bigger than that. I'm sure he'll enjoy it. This will be a different match for Mark Allen tonight, I'm sure. Six. Quite incredible Seven. that he's come into this champion of champions just on his rank and solely. He hasn't won an event to gain automatic selection for this event. But he's had such a wonderful consistent season without actually picking up any silverware. Yeah, 13 players of the 16 had lifted silverware. The other three 14. were in on their highest ranking. And those players were John Higgins... Mark Allen, who's the world number eight. David Gilbert also in on that. Both of those two have been eliminated. But he was one of the more consistent 15. players, actually, last season. That was the thing. He got into a number of semi-finals. He lost to a good friend of his in the Tour Championship final, which would, of course, got him in here as of right, Stephen Maguire. Maguire won the tournament and picked up a 100,000 bonus as well. Winning the European Tour. 20. And the point you made, those 21. wins that he's had against O'Sullivan, big wins, triple crown events, twice in the Masters, in Ronnie's backyard, where he's been so successful, and of course at the Crucible. And this is normally where he's really good at. 27. Very good control on the cue ball. And play for pink again here, you would feel. Yeah, saved his best for last this afternoon. 28. Scott Donaldson had a really good chance to knock him out 4 2. Missed a straightforward black. When it got to the last frame, he produced the goods. One long red, 125 later. And he was in the 
final tonight. And this is much better with his cue ball so far. 34. Thirty-five. Forty-two. I just brush off the two reds just above it, just to hold the cue ball. Stay on the black. Forty-three. And that very nicely. This is the kind of shot he's very good at, very precise 50. positional player. There was a lovely little cannon through the gap. Gave him plenty of options. 51. Prolific break builder. 58. Made 469 career centuries, which is uh, 59. Well, most players have made more, but not that many. 15 years as a pro, pretty good tally that. Well, as you see, 64. This is frame ball. The points remaining go down by eight when the red is potted, so one overtakes the other. Good start. 65. Seventy-one. Yeah, we talked about a fast start from Mark Allen, and this is exactly what he wanted. Seventy-two. Put a bit of pressure on, and here's Ronnie's miss at the beginning of the frame. Part of good red, split the pack, but just a little bit unlucky to be bridging over that red. Just made it so much more difficult. Another little lovely cannon. That's the red over the foul. left center. Oh, he's fouled. <laughs> That's a Mark pity. It was a very good break up and until then. Ronnie frame. O'Sullivan has decided enough is enough, though. It's enough for Mark Allen to take the opening frame. A fine break of 78. Ended with a foul. He's out of the blocks quickly. And he leads Ronnie O'Sullivan by a frame to nil. 70 can play on the black here well he could do but if he misses he may leave this red it's a little grimace from him. may just play a containing safety shot but it'd be unlike him to refuse this pot Done. Maybe the angle just wasn't nice enough to come off this top cushion and stay on the black. Yeah, good call, Ken. I was one of those where his potting was so good at long range earlier. 100%, 9 from 9, and some of those were really good ones. So very hard to pot everything at long range you go for, but he did manage it. Possibility that he might knock a red over this right corner pocket when playing the safety shot. Yeah. Lovely pace of the cue ball, just short of the pocket. Lovely safety shot indeed.
McCallum is a long way away from that red, but he's been very fortunate. Could have left Ronnie an easy pot, but just a safety shot here. Couldn't do much else. Just knocked the red into the bulk area. I don't feel that there's all that many options here for Mark Allen. You can drop into the bunch. He doesn't really want to play that, but it might be that uh, it's one way of keeping the ball safe. That's what he's thinking of doing. Stalemate is not out of the question here. Mark just had a little look over at Ronnie, see if he got anything nice back. Guys. Yeah, they're going to do Thank it all you. again. I think that's fair. Sometimes it can take five minutes to do what is pretty obviously always going to happen, Ken, doesn't it? Sometimes a it's inevitable that uh, there's a re but they went quickly there. Yeah, it did go quickly. Uh, a quick story of starting to Michael Holton. <laughs> and uh, before they actually played today with Ronnie and himself, and Ronnie looks like he's lost a little bit of weight. Michael Holt asked him, has he been doing a little bit of running? He said, yes, he has been doing a little bit of running. And after the match, Michael Holt, when he shook his hand, was, you know, at the end of the match, he said, you've obviously been doing a little bit of practice as well, the way you <laughs> played. <laughs> Well, he's, he's got a lot of discipline, though, Sullivan. You know, people think he's it's, it's got this God-given gift and, you know, has to work at it. He works at his fitness. He's coming up 45. You know, he's a credit to himself and to the game, really. He certainly is. Yeah, I think these two are more than happy to do it all again. Start rack them and start the fresh. is a very similar red but this time there's no red behind the black so and he may have a better angle let's see can he knock this long red in and stay on the black now the angle is not great so once again just concentrating a good safety shot There's a player, in my case a former player, the one thing you always want to do on those safeties is you miss the bulk colours. Because you get onto the cushion rather than in the middle of the table. And luckily for O'Sullivan, Alan missed the red. Everything's been a bit awkward so far. He put the red at the outset of this match and was awkwardly placed over the black. Even this opener is not by any means a gimme, it's a thin red to the top right get the feeling he's straining at the leash but he needs to an end well one I think you've always believed it was in but you had to think about it that one yeah not three times didn't it <laughs> it was a good pot though um, very nicely held have a look at this again. Went to the left hand side of the pocket, but just the pace of it. Nicely on the blue. You know, what Ronnie and Sullivan are always trying to attack around the black spot, trying to open it up, and he's taken this red right off the Six. black. He could have taken an easier one, but wants to take this to open up the black into two pockets. Seven. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, we are Mate. playing it and behind me. closed doors, but there was a gentleman. Have you doing got to stand something. there? Would you mind just having your seat? You I don't need to, to stand there. Thank you. I noticed it myself. It's not Ronnie being a niggity. Someone's doing something behind the scenes. He does spot things that uh, other players might not, but uh, strangely, in a environment like this, you're going to notice 14. something. A little out of place, more so than if there were 15. a good few hundred spectators in here, maybe. Anyway, as you say, he's took the key red and he's given himself an early chance. He 
just feel a lot of the time, Ken, with O'Sullivan, it's, he gets a chance, and it's maybe the second 22. or third shot, very early in the break, you see 23. an integral red being moved, or high value colour being brought into play, and sometimes go unnoticed, but you think, well, the balls are everywhere, that's because he played a shot early, which made that possible. Yeah, amazedly. First thing he does is try and get that black open. And if you can play from the first shot, I mean, some players would like to get a few points on the board before they eventually attempt that particular shot. Ronnie is onto it straight away. Just makes 31. the break so much easier having that black available in both corner pockets. And just gets into his rhythm so quickly. Thirty-seven. There's another lo 30. lovely little shot. Instead of just playing it with top spin, he stunned the red in just to bring two more reds into play. Another red, maybe at the bottom of the bunch. Yeah, you see it there. Just at the bottom of the bunch is available as well. So that's all. This break building, it's an art, isn't it, Neil? You know, there is an art to it. Well, it is when you see this man compiling and constructing breaks, that is for sure. Makes a very difficult game look very easy at times. Here's another red that if he pots it, he'll be taking reds out into 53. the open. Yeah, a little bit lower on the red that he would have liked. You got to watch the cue ball. Might go near this right middle pocket. He's okay. 54. Okay, he's not perfect on the blue, but for a right hander, it's not too bad. Blue up into the green pocket. Doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. Yeah, beautifully played. Sixty. I think this is a match that could live up live up to the billing that we gave it earlier. Already it looks like both players are in very good form. Sixty five. Well, that's uh, barring snookers on as even. Of course, now it's just a question, it would appear, 72. of how many Sullivan makes here. 73. And one all. We've been playing about 20 minutes and we've had a re wreck as well. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-nine. Well, no century this time for O'Sullivan as well, similarly to Mark Allen, but equally a good start. And uh, this match is rocking and rolling here, and these two are locked at one frame all. Game on. The third frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Sullivan with the left-handed break, which is still searching for a way of keeping the ball safe from his break-off shot, which he's not necessarily always found. Both of these two are playing with uh, great fluency. And Sullivan is the quickest player in the game on the average shot times. You would think that maybe you know, a younger player might be the man, but it is O'Sullivan officially. Mm -hmm. Only because you tend to get a little slower as you get older. Well, most people do. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not a slow player, that's for sure. Sullivan. I don't think anyone's ever accused you of being that, Ken. <laughs> there are a few on the tour, not many. That in shot time, that was quite incredible, isn't it? 14 seconds and 16 seconds for Mark Allen. Amazing. 
Chris Longpot for Ross Sullivan. Didn't expect him to miss it. Always be happy with that. Really clever shot that, wasn't it? Made sure he kept Mark Allen on the right-hand side of the table because of this red down close to this right-hand side cushion. Just makes the part, the cue ball, back to ball, so much more difficult. We played it nicely, just missed the red. Not back to ball, though. So, left another half chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan into this right corner pocket, another long pot. Well, he got up very quickly, he knew he'd misjudged it. Played it with a, some right hand side, and maybe just went away from the red too much but immediately he knew it wasn't as he played it one Six. Yeah, I'm just wondering, can he pot this red and maybe go into the red, just left of the black? That's in its way because thinking about the black, if it does go eventually on its spot, he wants that red out of the way, just left of the spot. to that red and that was Seven. nice and of course that opens the black up now fourteen fifteen Control is in evidence for Mark Allen. 22. Something that's always been a real feature of his game, how smaller distance the cue ball travels when he's brake building. Because everyone has to play shots around two or three cushions, but often he just keeps that cue ball in the middle of the table. Got a couple of different ways of putting a red here. Many as four reds he could possibly go for. Keeping it simple, I don't blame him. 23. 30. Thirty. 
31. Relatively 36. simple reds out in the open. And then he'll have to decide about disturbing a couple from that pack. 37. Just looking at two reds there. Maybe a possible plant into the left middle. On the left hand side of that bunch. 37. Oh, this is wide. Wow. Mark Allen, 37. That's a surprise. 37. He was half interested in the positional side of it. The pot was not something he could take for granted. Not suggesting he did. But One. now the next question is, is it going to be costly? It won't matter too much if O'Sullivan doesn't make many here. Pink is a few inches apart from these reds, so he's got to really catch the pink here, full ball. Anything but full ball, he won't be on a red. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. What a shot. Mm. The point you made explained it perfectly. The pink is protecting the bunch, but not anymore. Seven. He couldn't have hit it any better. Absolutely plumb on the pink. to do because pink and black both off their spots. Well thirteen. Such an advantage that O'Sullivan might consider playing this pink left handed and he's very, very good with his opposite hand. Certainly helps his cause as well, just bringing that one red away from Lighting. the other one. Could play on pink or black here. Twenty. He's gonna need the extension and maybe the extended rest. Extended rest on the side. Always those shots, Neil. I mean, that shot he played with the left hand, I mean, it just amazes you. I mean, it's a pressure shot as it is, but he makes it look so simple, doesn't he? And it's so difficult when you when you are right hand. I think he wanted to be on the black to play that left handed down the cushion as well, didn't he? Mm. I'm wondering why the um, referee, Marcel Eckhart, doesn't hand him any of the equipment. I guess you're not allowed to under the current restrictions and rules and regulations most of the time. He would assist the player in getting the rest. Yeah, big shot this. Played it in a very safe way, I think. Made sure the pot knew he'd be on a red. You can see he only got to put the stuff all away himself. 27. Early in the match, but you feel this could be a significant frame. If Salomon were to win it, because he was not in first. Twenty-eight. Yeah, I think the pivotal ball may be that one that's close to the right-hand side cushion. He's going to need that red. Thirty-five. Played with the pink left handed when those two reds were very close together. They weren't potable. He brought one of them into play and uh, he set his chance up here. I wonder will he try and dislodge the red here off the cushion with the other red? He's having a look. 44. 
Party Free. Well, as you say, he will need it, but he's figured, I guess, that he could get behind that red down the kitchen, and that would be just about enough. 50. We'll need a colour with that red, whatever it takes here. 51. Got an angle to stand up in behind the red now, as you can see. So this is a, another key shot. Mm -hmm. Spotted something behind the red, just be careful you don't touch the red with your finger, Ronnie. Oh yeah, he's got a lovely angle, just got a you know, six or eight inches behind the red here. Oh. Looks pretty good. 58. Maybe screw up just to the right middle pocket. And just drop the blue 59. in. A little bit too far, but just the blue required. This has been an excellent break now. A very good break, and he's had a long look at the scoreboard. He doesn't have to play on the yellow. Playing to the scoreboard the right way. One snooker to tie. 64. If Marco never got the chance. Which seems highly unlikely now. So 66. a gripping match so far. that he got in first and he'll be thinking about that black that he overcut it was going quite nicely 69 73 Slow down considerably as well. This frame has taken 12 minutes now. <laughs> but it's been a wonderful break. And as you said, 17. it could be a pivotal frame already in this match so early. 84. Oh, that was a delightful way of getting the frame from Ronnie O'Sullivan. One mistake from Mark Allen. Break is 37, but that was not enough because Sullivan with 91 is now in front at two frames to one. It's been really top quality stuff so far, hasn't it? Yeah, sometimes I think you, you, the frames like that are the most significant ones, aren't they? Players like this get in with one visit as we saw in the first two frames. But maybe the frames which you lose, which you should win, or vice versa. The ones that make all the difference in these sort of matches. Well, this is asking the question here from Mark Allen. Then I try and take this red on. And I'll leave the cue ball somewhere near this black. Oh, very close. Must have thought it was pretty good when he hit it. take any risks there didn't try and get down to the bulk end there were reds of course at range available so for once hang on, fairly unambitious safety from O'Sullivan and of course now he's given Mark the same issue of you know can you play into bulk and potentially leave a long red on
Ooh, that's an error. That was a little bit casual. shot beautifully played would have liked the cue ball a couple more inches off this cushion but still a beautiful shot played it in such a way he wasn't going to be leaving anything but this is not an easy black this one no wasn't easy that right, was a kick, I think. it was a definitely made a bad sound and when he made a little groaning noise when he hit it that jumped just giving a second yeah, nothing worse as a commentator you don't want to talk about people getting kicks no one really understands what they are bad contact between one ball and another but uh, they're not as common as they used to be I think a lot is down to the new chalk and that we've been using not all the players use it and Ronnie doesn't actually use it and that's why you see Quite a lot of chalk marks on the table. He used a different type of chalk to what Mark Allen is using, the tame chalk, of course. Yeah, and I think that has moved the game forward. Mm. One. So, whichever way you look at it, it's an error. Maybe not his fault entirely. Very good split. Very solid Six. hit into the bunch. You can always, I feel, tell how well they've made connection. The cue ball, when it stays in the middle of the table, doesn't leap off to a side cushion. It means you've hit the target bang on. Seven. Yeah, once again, just watch this. Hits the pink. Absolutely full ball. And lovely control on the cue ball. Keeping the pink in the open as well. Come around just to make sure that the pink parts, which it will do, into this bottom right hand corner pocket. So we can concentrate on the pink for the time being, while the black is slightly out of commission, tight to that top cushion. This is where he normally has great control, doesn't he, Neil? You know, in around the pink spot. Playing nice little 20. stun shots and developing, holding the cue ball. It's definitely a strength. 21. Of course, he's aware of playing the world champion, who looks in good form, that chances like this are not going to come often. So when they do come, he really has to make sure he puts this frame away now. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. I think he can cope with the fact that the black is not available, as you say, he's very good. And the pink spot, the blue, of course, that can get up the table for that. He can get enough points without the black being a big problem. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Mm, shake it ahead, maybe. Forty. Too straight. This red. 
Yeah, it could have been better, that one. Could have done with a bit more of an angle, so he's going to take this round and bounce it off the top cushion. And he's played it well. 41. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. And he's contemplating maybe playing a little cannon into the three reds just below the pink. But it could go wrong. Could play on one of the reds in the left cushion. But Looks like he's going to play the cannon, try and split those reds. Yeah, he's played it very nicely. It's a good result. 54. Just another few pots away now from winning this frame. 45. This has been uh, 55. an excellent four frames from both players. Ronnie O'Sullivan, very unlucky to get that kick beginning of this frame. Well, Mark Allen has taken his chance very well. He has indeed. 61. He's almost there. 61. Made very few 62. mistakes, O'Sullivan. That awkward queuing in the first frame on the black into the opposite corner to the one he missed. Unfortunately, in, in this frame, because it was definitely a Bad contact. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Yeah, here's the kick, and just watch the black here. You see the way it just jumped off the table. It's very unlucky. I don't like to make excuses. It's not impossible that you got a kick on the black in that first frame that it was killing awkwardly as well. Minor one. I want to say that every time somebody misses, it was a kick, but it looked surprised that time as well. Anyhow, 76. It doesn't matter. It, uh, it's all part of the game, unfortunately. Less so perhaps now than in previous years. But we've seen four very good frames of snooker here. If you're a snooker fan, 79. you will not want to miss the second half of this. 80. Yeah, it's been wonderful stuff and all very, very quick as well. Seven and a half, six and a half. Thirty and a half minutes and... Well, this is just coming up to 11 86. minutes. It's been brilliant stuff from both players. Excellent. 87. Ninety-three. Ninety-five. Well, I guess some thought for O'Sullivan. Plenty to ponder over, but he, he must be pleased with his game. I mean, you can only do so much. Ninety-eight. This game, and he looks in good form. The man he's playing, Mark Allen, also in good form. His second century of the day. One hundred and two. Interesting, we are than yet to make one, but it doesn't alter the fact that he's in great form. Anyway, oh, a break of 102 for enthralling frames of snooker. And the players are even at two all. More after the break, should be tremendous.
the standard's been that good that you just think whoever gets not so much first chance or first half chance, whoever pots the first red and gets anywhere decent position, you think every chance they're going to win the frame. The game's not that easy. It made it seem that way this evening. And both in no mood for being tentative. Looks like he's having a go at this one, Mark Allen. Good effort. O'Sullivan's been doing so much good all day. One thing he's been doing, potting balls from distance to bulk pockets. He's done One. that on a regular basis. And the control of the cue ball as well was nigh on perfect. Even there, Eight. the cannon on the red was perfection, wasn't it? Just pushing the red to the the left, the fraction, Nine. opening two or three more up. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty six. Cue ball's that good O'Sullivan here. He doesn't need to necessarily go into the pack. The red to the top right of the bunch. Finished high on that. No, he hasn't. He finished high on it. Thought he'd screw off the others. 43. A little bit more spade work to do. Looking at that red on the left side of them there, that certainly goes to right middle. When he gets rid of this next one, not sure if it goes to the corner. 50. But again, when played that nicely, you can pick 51. a spot top side of blue. So, nice little split into them. Beautiful pack to be able to hold the cue ball just around that area. And spread a few around. But it's gone wrong. Foul. Ronnie Sullivan, 51. Mark Allen, 5. Well, mixed emotions there. Obviously unlucky to knock in the red. That goes without saying. Foul. But there's nothing on, so it could have been even more expensive.
One. Another stunning long pot. Didn't miss from distance this afternoon in his first match. Five out of seven tonight. When well, O'Sullivan is uh -oh. knocking that kind of pot in so regularly, what a handful. Play around the back of that lone red there. Or try and drop on it direct. I'm trying to drop on it direct. But you know, the little brush off the other 13. red held the cue ball, so no problem. Frame gone now. 14. Such is the pace of the match, early doors, the early doors. Seven and a half minutes of first frame, less than seven minutes of second frame. Frame three actually felt like a marathon, only thirteen and a half. In some pace. Twenty-six. Brilliant to watch. Mark Allen, six. Ronnie Sullivan, 26. And a frame. The six points don't matter. Mark Allen remains seated. That frame lasted just less than nine minutes. This really is a race to six. On one side of the arena, we have the images of several players who've gone home. On the other side, though, look at who is still standing. And if Ronnie O'Sullivan were to win tonight, it would mean the world's top four would contest the semi-finals.
O'Sullivan in the lead for the second time. He edged two on in front and now halfway to victory. He's left this possible red. He's actually unfortunate, Ronnie, because he deliberately played one cushion to get the red first, thinking that he would cover this red. Ah, oh, good shot. One. See, it was a wee bit unfortunate, Ronnie, there, but it's all the ebb and flow of match play. Lovely touch. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Opening reds with the guarantee of being on an already open one. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Sends that Mark lost his cue ball just a fraction the last few shots. Just struggling to get in prime position. Come back across the face of the black here. The same pocket. Well played. Recovered the situation nicely. 25. What a stark contrast 32. this is from the last time they played. It was here on ITV, semi-final of the Players' Championship early last year. Basically, Allen didn't turn up. He was very, very poor, for whatever reason. He lost 6-0, whitewashed. And O'Sullivan outscored him 532 points to 89. He's turned up tonight. 33. Forty one.
six 48. reds, six blacks, 49. And what a chance, you have to say, what a chance. Sixty four. Good red to get rid of. Those five around the center area there. That gives him a 65. bit of room to maneuver the cue ball into that area that he just moved the red away. Just glide up into the gap there. Seventy two. So frame ball is out of the way. Ronnie O'Sullivan has made 15 147s. Not very often on the receiving end though. 80. Eighty-one. Yeah, let's see if he decides to play the, the difficult red this time round because he's perfect on the black. If he wishes to, he might as well get rid of it this time. Eighty-eight. Get in. I wasn't sure. He <laughs> hit the cushion well before the pocket. But the pace just allowed it to topple in, and now he will never ever get a better opportunity. 96. 97. Let's see if he can. Maybe devise a way of playing for both reds. It doesn't really have to, mind you. It's just the, the way you like to play it. And you just potted that in the high part of the pocket. And the cue ball went up to just a fraction more. This red's a bit tricky. 13 really Mike is Evan. an unlucky number. 13 reds, 13 blacks. We were thinking maximum, but Mark Allen couldn't get position on the 14th thread. It was never challenging the pocket. Nevertheless, what an effort.
Thank you, Mark Ronnie. Allen thought he had achieved break building Frank perfection Sullivan. there. Ronnie O'Sullivan to What he did do was draw level in short order. He has made a 147 before, by the way. 2016 UK Championship. But to make one against Ronnie O'Sullivan in a tournament of this prestige live on TV, now that would have been something else. Interested in the plant, yeah, shake of the head with Mark because the reds he knows are virtually touching. So Ronnie can wouldn't be a problem making it, yeah. Just pot it. As if he's played in the pot but miss the red to the side cushion, if you like. That would be the way to pot this. We play to miss the red the, the initial red hit it about six inches up the side cushion. The cue ball's going to be going towards the black, well, cushion and then the black. Now I played it with One. some side to avoid it. Quite clever. Okay, wrong side of blue, but you know what you like it, getting in and out of ball, usually. Quite a difficult one, this. Yeah, it was never easy to get close to a red. Mm, this might Six. not be any good to him. Yep. He's got to peel off and back to the long grass for the time being. Ronnie O'Sullivan six. Yes, you think, well, pot on. Why didn't he take it on? In snooker, there's no point taking a risk if you get no reward. And he knew the positional future of that shot was basically non-existent. Obviously feels the left middle pocket's in the way for landing on the red. Here's this cushion. This is risky, but played it well. Got the red first and Marcel was all over it. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, good shot and very good referee. You don't get to officiate in the world final if you're not. Always been very studious, hasn't he? Ever since he, he first came over, he just knew he was going to get to the top of the tree. I can't remember the number, but the number of matches that he's done the last few months with Championship League and one thing or another, been incredible. Superb dedication they have to the a craft. 
and it was a, a well-known referee of yesteryear who made our hearts sad last weekend, Vic Bartlam, who officiated at the Crucible on several occasions and was a really good egg. He died in his hometown of Wolverhampton in his early 90s. He'll be sadly missed. Smashing guy, always a really good laugh and when he was out at the table very serious, very businesslike and a real good pair of hands. Foul in the miss, Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Vic refereed in an era when the pace of play was much slower than this. He would have loved this kind of swashbuckling snooker. The vast majority of frames over inside ten minutes. It's all good professionals do they did the right thing there, Mark, and fouling the first time round, not deliberately. But he heard on the thin side, made the adjustment nicely. Foul, Mark Allen for. And that little piece of ingenuity has created half an opening. Superbly, didn't he? It was never easy to judge. Yeah, it ran on a fraction. Control that nicely. Just watching him move around the table here, Mark Allen. He looks very businesslike, very mean. Look at those eyes 11. tonight. I think he fancies this job. He always does, but nothing better than playing the very best out there and 12. competing with them. Which he can do no problem, we know that. He's definitely got that eye about him. It was maybe lacking a little this afternoon. Seventeen. Eighteen. For this break, colours not readily available in terms of high points. Pink and black, horrible. And now, by catching that jaw, for this shot at least, the blue is out of the question. Shot on. 21. Very rapid. And if you recall, Allen at the start of this frame deliberated for quite some time 
on a snooker escape. Twenty-two. Well, the average frame time is preposterous. Average frame time, nine minutes and thirty-five seconds. This one, though, will be perhaps double that, if not more. 28. Quite a nice little cluster this, isn't it? Rather like the shot Ronnie played earlier. Should fan open. Yeah, just like that. Oh, he might have been a bit unfortunate, because the other three I don't think go. Maybe one of them to left middle. wonder if we can flick one of them here. Oh, well played. 34. Very classy shot that was. And the work he's got in socks off for what he's got here. Now oh, press to win the frame at this visit or put it beyond as uh, snookers require, but in some contribution. 39. Only 39, but almost in some ways as good as anything we've seen tonight. Now these shots look so simple, you have to be really careful. Nicely done, especially with the rest. 40. Padding his lead all the time. And where the remaining reds are, even if O'Sullivan does get back to the table. Salvaging this in a single visit might even be beyond the great man himself. Mark Allen, forty five. Yellow is going to hamper Mark here. This is going to be so difficult with the rest. I mean, the pot's tough. How ambitious does he want to be with this? Dangerous. Wants to find the gap with the cue ball. Oh, well played. That's a fantastic shot. What an effort. One. But unfortunately, he couldn't have done any better there. But 40 to the good. That's a stunning shot, it really is. What a shot. Six. Seven. You can get places on this table that you can't get it on most. The manoeuvrability of this playing surface is one of the reasons why 12. these players are loving it. Thirteen.
18. Nineteen. Twenty four. His rest play has been sensational. Eight pots out of eight. Although he missed that one, Gallen, 24. And it didn't matter. The damage was well and truly done. And so, for the first time since he was 1 0 ahead, Mark Allen hits the front. Deeper into the match now at 4 3. 2009 World Championship, a couple of times at the Masters, including a 6 1 quarterfinal victory just a couple of years ago. The way things are going here, this could be. A fourth notable victory. But there's still some ways to go. will irritate Ronnie that was quite easy mm, Mark Allen off again one yeah, hand on the table there Ronnie with a safety shot I mean fair enough he catch the brown you can't legislate for that but caught it much too thick Six. Cleverly playing for a bulk colour rather than having to play a little holding grab shot with a cue ball for blue there. Going up for the green, you don't okay. score as many, but you get the benefit farther down the line, and he's it's got fine, it yeah. now. Don't worry. Back in business Lap. again. Pink yet, yeah, he will in a second. Yeah, pink might be the certainly positionally it's the more guaranteed shot. This could go wrong. And that'll do, that's okay. Again, as well said, the nice fast bed. This clock. 17. Isn't really much of a problem going up for blue. Cue ball runs out nicely. Like that. 18.
with Alan's renowned cue ball control. 23. And that economical cue action. I would go so far as to say this surface would be Nirvana for him. Absolutely ideal if he could carry this table around with him. I think he would. Twenty-four. Uh, Sullivan not shabby, 91% point success rate, but Allen's is superior. Wasn't a bad ploy actually getting rid of the pink, it almost, some ways there, it was congesting 30. the area. They'll get it up out of harm's way. And the yellow's now out of commission, which, if Mark was to fail, it could always pose a problem for Sullivan in the counter-attack clearance. 31. Even when he got that chance. Again, with his ability to keep the cue ball under close order. No problem for him working off black or bl and blue. Forty six. Forty seven. With one exception, little in his early season play indicated this. Lost in the last sixteen of the European Masters to Ding. Although in the last sixty four there, he hit our own Ken Doherty with a barrage of big breaks in a five mil whitewash. He lasted one group in the Championship League. He was dismissed from the English Open in the last 64, 4-0 by a mid rank player called Robbie Williams. Didn't pull up any trees this afternoon either against Scott Donaldson until the decider. And now he's looking a million dollars. 60. One. Plays this shot really well, just a holding soft screw shot. Brilliant at that shot. Partly because his delivery of the cue leaves the players that leaves the, the tip of the cue quite close to the bed of the cloth. The spin stays on the 16. ball for just a fraction longer. Okay, wrong side of the blue this time, but the frame's long gone now. Looking around there, did he hear a, a mobile phone click? 74. Not quite sure. There was some noise that we don't normally anticipate. Mark Allen, 74, and a frame. The frame was already well and truly over, though. That one took eight minutes. Ronnie O'Sullivan finds himself in a spot of bother. Two down with a possible three to play. Sullivan. But we saw in that epic World Championship semi-final against Mark Selby that O'Sullivan can fight back brilliantly.
What he has done tonight, Mark Allen, has been noticeable for me. There have been two or three occasions when he can play on loose threads and he's gone into them to get others moving. It's apparent to me that he's part of his mindset is that I have to win a frame in one hit. Obviously that's because of the quality of his opponent. I think that's been his plan and up until now he's carried it out beautifully. Has to put the finishing touches to a superb performance. And as you can see from the time that's elapsed since O'Sullivan's last pot, in this portion of the match he's being frozen out. When there's this amount of indecision with O'Sullivan, it's one of two things. He's got an embarrassment of riches, or he's got precious little. It's touching ball. shot that Ronnie played had a purpose, the purpose was that next time round he might be able to put Mark in some sort of trouble. I don't know if he can get close to being in behind the yellow here. You don't want to flirt with the bump of the left middle pocket in any way. Mark Allen has definitely got him thinking. And he's got him on the run. Sullivan's second shot in succession where he's thought about it for over a minute good to see though that even in times of crisis he's taking his time investing 100% not out of this yet a fact of which Mark Allen is well and truly aware Now, between Sorry. frames, while you're on the break there, our tournament director, Paul Collier, came in and reaffixed one of Mark Allen's logos, but he said there it's still sticking, so he was given permission to take it off his waistcoat by the referee.
You've got to take it yourself. You mean the... Just underneath there, the far right. Oh, the spider one. The spider is just here. Oh, okay. Use of the spider complicating the issue. Frame time, seven and a half minutes. A ball yet to be potted. Underlining the infinite variety of snooker. Because the first and the second frame were over by now. Sullivan kept cold for half an hour. It's actually lengthier than that. That's just the actual playing time. Doesn't incorporate the, the time between frames. And the drought is broken. One. Ronnie Sullivan, what? Should be okay this, but they may choose to choose to just go one cushion into the side of them. You'll probably well I don't know if this is a risk that he has to take. Another shot at it. On your Sullivan four. Well, I suppose as long as he doesn't catch the red nearest the corner pocket, then any red he does catch, he won't be catching it full. to see how he fancies that shot that Marks just attempted. the same way again just to recap here well, he's going one cushion now I think maybe he feels he can't get the, the reds that are near the pink on the two cushion escape but he'll probably flirt with the pink here actually the last thing he wants to do is get low with the cue ball so see he's flirting with the pink but that's the safer way to play it. Good shot. Good thinking. We had a re-rack pre-interval. Just wondering if this is going to be the second.
s touching ball. On the touching ball called by the referee might alter the landscape should alter the landscape Well, the average shot time, especially for O'Sullivan, creeping up. And when you think, 14 minutes, this frame, one ball potted. And that was fortuitously. Long side. Too old. We would play this a bit thicker, spin it round the houses, up behind the green. But almost like the point of no return. Mark Allen on five. That would be advisable. Risk leaving a, a long red, so he's probably going to play this on the thin side. See, he can't risk anything. In that sense, Mark Allen here could, if he wishes. He probably won't. He doesn't want to push too many reds around, but he's got a wee bit more freedom than Ronnie does, obviously, at present. Nice target, that yellow-brown as well here, isn't it? Just a bit thinner than half ball. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Well done. It just sounded right, it looked right, exactly as played. And that came about because, remember, Ronnie had to play thin on the initial shot, we see it again. Freedom in Mark Allen's Q arm at the minute to cushion glancer. Oh, well played. But I read here that you know Mark's not gonna renege on. Oh, what a cracker. What a what? shot. You wondered whether that extended bout of tactical play might have broken his rhythm. There's your answer.
six. I must confess, I was see the reds there nearest the pink. They go to this left corner there. I'm really surprised they didn't play the green there. Quite a nice angle to play in those. That was a risk. Obviously the red to left middle doesn't feel like it's worth the gamble. Positionally it's not all that pleasant, so it's back to the graft. Mark Allen six. Thirteen reds still on the table and already the lengthiest frame of the match. Who would have thought the way that they'd been going this evening, we could see one marathon frame. Well, the environment is there for a long one here. I think it's fair to say, Alan, by O'Sullivan's standards, over the last 20 minutes he's been very patient, and now that patience has been rewarded. Yeah, he's made a habit down the years of showing us new things and new methods, new ways of going about things. I don't think I've ever seen him be as studious in a, a tactical exchange as he has been. This frame, but yeah. Good chance now, and we know what he's like at flicking the switch and getting the scoring boots back on. Okay, we just try to. Right, okay, guys, just. Please, guys. Please, no need, no need for argument. I, please, guys, sure, come. Guys, just leave it. Can we just play snooker? Please, guys. Well, please, just leave. Thank you. I know you didn't do anything. Thank you. Thank you. Ronnie, can we just play on now? I think Mark will be careful now. Can we just stop that argument now, please, and play on? <laughs> Guys, it's time now. Please. What an extraordinary exchange. Lovely. Beautiful. Time and again, Marcel Lacard implored. Well, he said both guys One. to stop, but really the the talker was O'Sullivan. We thought the McGill Clark confrontation at the World Championship was lengthy. That was over in the blink of an eye compared with that. Yeah, Ronnie was clearly felt that seven. Yeah, a couple of times tonight. That Mark's been impinging on his a shot line or maybe not sitting in the chair or whatever and gotten under his skin.
I've seen him have a go at referees in the past, but I can't recall 14. anything quite like that before. 15. When it all started off, I thought it was actually just a, a bit of banter. And then as it went on, clearly it was very serious indeed. And the one thing I would say, if there was any impropriety, it certainly wouldn't have been deliberate. Mark Allen, not one. that sort of laddie. But, oh, how's he missed that red? 11, 21. Oh, look at this again. Dear me. How much was that a symptom of what went on just a minute or two ago? One. When the atmosphere is genuinely hostile, you see players lose concentration. It's a matter of fact. Six. Yeah, worth showing you know, for a third time because I still can't believe he missed it. Seven. Maybe at the end of this it's just as well they're not allowed to handshake because <laughs> they might not be doing it anyway. This pink Fourteen. then for parity. The reds look quite congested in a, in some way, but as he pots them, they'll clear paths for one another. It's a better chance than it actually appears this. The black's irrelevant. Twenty. You know a commission obviously I'm referencing. Brilliant chance to close this match out this. Twenty one. Yes, and to close out the match, Alan has got to close out what's just happened. Not easy. It's quite key here that he gets up high on this pink. You're bound to be low 20. on it with it off that shot. Yeah, so now he's going to have to utilise the red around the brown spot. His heart will be thumping, his palms will be sweaty. Thirty-five. Until around five minutes ago he was playing for a place in the semi-finals of the Champion of Champions. Now the stakes. In terms of pride. Have been greatly increased. played this lovely, that is an awesome shot played in such a way where it was virtually impossible not to be nice on one
38. Forty-four. Forty-five. So far, Alan, given the circumstances, tremendous composure this. One to the good. This red goes in. He's definitely going to be on a high value colour. Fifty-two. And you have to say what a performance. We know he's got it in him. He's done it many times. And the contrast from this afternoon's match against young Scott Donaldson has been a marked improvement. It's been a contest full of really high quality, high octane snooker, but I'm afraid when the match report on this one is written, it's all going to be about that verbal altercation. Are we going to see the normal pleasantries? Final match. Michael. Just a nod and O'Sullivan exits.